Koopman. I'm going to show you guys exactly what Koopman is and what they sent us. Let's go. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Lowe Pixel. I am a Twitch streamer, experienced photographer. I do a lot of content on YouTube about gaming or gameplay. And I'm very new into this very gaming content world. So if you guys are enjoying these videos or getting some type of value, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, guys, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8.30 Eastern time. Don't forget to check me out there. Pretty cool little community that we have right now. And we've been enjoying playing some games together. Sometimes we get on Discord, chat a little bit. It's a lot of fun. So it'll be really cool to have you guys there. On today's video, we're going to be talking about a product that got sent to us for us to try. It's by a company called Koopman. Basically, what this product has is an HDMI switch with five ports. This video will bring a lot of value to those people that are big streamers or big gamers that have multiple consoles. Say you have a Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and you want to change from console to a different game without unplugging your HDMI and plugging it into the same monitor or TV. This device will help you with that and all you would have to do is just change it with a press of a button while everything is plugged in. So you have your power button right here. One, two, three, four, five. This is what the controller looks like. It's a very simple controller. It shouldn't be that hard to use. For streaming, it can be a little bit more complicated. It was complicated for me trying to figure out how to do this. So I'm gonna try to make this video as simple as I can for the streamer or for the gamer out there. I'm gonna be switching to another camera as a vlogging camera so you guys can see. Also, the way everything is plugged in so it can work out for you, okay? Actually, you know what? Let's switch into that vlogging camera right now. This is Koopman 4K. HDMI switch, it has five ports, five HDMI ports, right? So we have, it says switch, it has a power switch, so this turns on the power and off. It has one, two, three, four. Right now we're on one, and then it shows that the power is on here. We have the fifth HDMI here, and then it goes all the way from the back. So right now I have my monitor plugged in, PlayStation, and switch. And the power supply is right here and the HDMI here is connected to my capture card which is a Elgato HD60. If you're a gamer and you don't stream, this is a lot easier for you. All you have to do is you actually need an extra HDMI cable. So you grab your extra HDMI cable, which it doesn't come with so you have to get one, and then you would plug your HDMI cable into this part and it's gonna go to your main source which is your monitor or TV which is here. And then you have all your switches here and then bada boom bada bing, it works as simple as that as long as you have a power supply so it turns on and it works like that. Specifically for the streamer, if you want to be able to stream, you need a capture card, right? But this is the part that was really confusing for me. So with that extra HDMI cable, Elgato has a plug that says out and in. What you're going to want to do is put your extra HDMI cable on the out to your main monitor that you look at when you're gaming you might need a second HDMI cable, which is kind of sucky, but it's okay, because, I mean, HDMI cables are not that expensive, but the part that says in, you're gonna want one HDMI cable going in, and then the other end of it going into the HDMI switch. And everything should be working smooth, honestly, from that point on. Plug in all your stuff, which is your HDMI cable for your display monitor, which I have, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. And you should be fine from that point on. So this is how that works. Let's switch over to over here, back to the screen, so I can show you guys exactly how it works when I want to switch in between all these consoles and stuff, okay? Let's get on to it right now. So guys, this is going to be the example of what I'm telling you on how this device works and how it can make your life easier. So right now, we're on display port 1. This is my display monitor, so sometimes a viewer will come in and say, hey, Loba, uh, you know, they'll donate or they'll sub or something and be like, hey, check this video out and I'll do it after stream and I'll go back and I go and let's say I want to watch a video, right? I'm still on the display monitor, right? But let's say we're done chatting about this and we want to go back into PlayStation and play some games, right? So basically what I do is press number two, which I have it on my second port. It's plugged in, you know, we have everything set up. It takes a little while. It's okay. We got Kingdom Hearts right here. And let's say we start playing Kingdom Hearts, right? And we're good. Let's say you want to go to your Xbox or maybe go to your Nintendo Switch. Uh, you can go to your third or fourth or fifth port on here. I'm going to turn on my Nintendo Switch. Now, 
if you turn it on, it automatically takes you to that console. It could be any console. You turn it on, and it'll automatically switch you over there. I prefer it not doing that, but I honestly think it's better than actually sticking an HDMI cable and unplugging and plugging always. So it's not a big deal, but just to let you guys know that that is something that it does. So I'm going to turn on my Switch. Right now we're on the PlayStation. You can see this is PlayStation. It's Kingdom Hearts. It's a PlayStation Xbox exclusive only game. We're going to switch to our Nintendo Switch right now. I'm going to, I'm not going to press the button, but I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to have it on, right? And it's going to take me to my Nintendo Switch. It takes a little bit. Give it some time. Boom. We're on our Nintendo Switch right now. So let's say we want to go back to a display monitor. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to be switching this much, but I just want to show you guys the example of exactly what it does. So I have my controller right here. Boom. Display monitor one. Give it a second or two. You know what I'm saying? We're going. Switching. Boom. Look at that. We're on display and we're back to like whatever we want to do. Just chatting. Now, let's say we want to go to our PlayStation. Boom. I switched it again. It takes a little time, no biggie. Look at that, we're with Riku and we're just chilling right now. Hey, everybody wants to play Smash? Boom, we press number three, you know what I'm saying? Put that controller down, we're down to play Smash and that's how it goes, man. It's amazing, it's such a great product. That is exactly how Koopman HDMI switches work. Uh, it's a five port, remember that. I hope this video brings you some type of value. Make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'm willing to help. They're very, very good on pricing. That device literally costs like 25 bucks. They take Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, come by my Twitch channel and sub because it will be free. You will sub to an amazing channel, I promise you. And we have an awesome Pixel Fam community. So come on by the chat, show that Prime Love sub. If you pass by, I would really appreciate it. And I could play a beautiful song on stream with a music box. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really appreciate the time you took to come into this video let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below you could check out their product koopman k-o-o-p-m-a-n check them out on amazon and you will see all their products they have great reviews i really appreciate you guys passing by and watching this video and i hope to catch you guys on the next video peace wait what no i didn't want to do that wow bro we're summoned oh we're gonna have to okay I don't know how that works, but okay, buddy. DM and me D. Oh, just skip my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's cool, buddy. Yazora <laughs> because he can't be cheese. Like linger. Oh, bro. You think you think Yazora could be cheese? I don't think so.